Hello guys, how are you doing? Uh, welcome you into this tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to add um, on click uh, listener on our list items. Then also we are going to um, fix the, the add customer issue. If you realized on, on the last uh, section, we, when we build the add customer functionality, when we share the data, the the screen wasn't going anyway. So in this screen, in this activity, when we click save, we want the screen to be hidden, right? Then we go back to our main screen. Okay. So to fix this, uh, open your add customer class. Okay. Then you go just below the toast uh, message. Then you create your intent. Create your intent, then you add your context, then we navigate to Blitz Kawash class, which is our main class, right? Okay, then you start your activity here, then you finish this activity so that it is destroyed from the memory, right? Okay, um, then here you also need to put finish. Okay, great. Oh, um, great job, guys. Um, now we need to add on click listener for our recycler view. Okay, I'm going to take um, a piece of code that I'll explain to you as we go. Okay, um, firstly, we need an interface class uh, named click listener. Then the next thing, we need an inner class. Uh, I shall name it uh, Recycler Touch Listener. Okay, uh, this class is going to help us to implement our our click and on long click methods. Okay, so firstly, add this right um, public interface cl interface click listener. Then you add these two methods on click and on long click right after you have finished adding this you create your class public study class uh, you name it recycler touch listener then you implement on item touch listener right then the next thing you declare your variable your gesture detector variable the next you create your class variable which you have created above. Okay, then the next thing you need to add a constructor, public, then make sure this name is similar to that. That's how we create a constructor. Then you add uh, a context variable, you add a recycler view variable. You also add your click listener class variable, yeah. Then you instantiate here, yeah, this click listener, this goes to that. Then you instantiate your gesture detector. It goes to your gesture detector. Then you put the, the context. Then you cast new simple on gesture listener, right? Once you add this, Android Studio will ask you to implement these methods, right? Okay. Then these methods below here, once you add this, there's a red line that comes here. If you press out enter, it will implement those classes below, right? Okay, so just follow the way I did it here. Okay, I'll create another tutorial where I'll be taking you through all these methods and classes and also get in get giving you in-depth information as far as these uh, concepts are concerned okay then here you add this code right okay then these ones you leave them as they are right um, then also for code reference uh, I shall add the source code on github I think uh, on the last section of our course I'll implement the, the fully functional project of what we are learning here so that you can have references whenever you get challenges, right? But for now, 
just uh, follow the way I did it, right? You add your interface class here. You go here, you add all these, right? Add all these ones. Okay, right. Then the next thing now we need to implement this class on our recycler view where we will be able to click or to, to add uh, on long click listeners on our recycler view. Okay, so here we call our recycler view, customer recycler view. Okay, dot we need to add on item touch listener. Great, then inside you call our inner class new recycler touch listener recycler touch listener right then the first variable is uh, context in this case we can put this since an activity then the next variable so i'm referencing that yeah you see our constructor we have a, a context we have a recycler view then also we have our click listener interface class right Okay, so the next thing variable that we need to add is our recycler view. Okay, then the next thing that we need to do is to implement our click listener interface class. Great. So automatically it will add the on click methods um, and on long click methods. Right? Great. We're good to go. So to test if our click listener is working. So we add a toast, uh, toast of make toast, and um, say just want it to display a simple message. So just say this is this is uh, okay. This is whatever position. Okay. Um, then dot shop. Okay. Great. Uh oh sorry so great so just copy this and edit yeah okay let's run it and see if our click uh and our long click listeners are, are working right uh we'll just fire up my emulator hmm. Okay, great. Uh, we up. So we, if we click, okay, this position number one, this position number two, this position number three. Great. Our click listeners are working, guys. Then uh, let's click on. Let's hold. Okay, you see, everything is working perfectly. Great. In the next tutorial, uh, we are going to. Uh, add the um, edit function where we will click our our list item then navigate to another screen then also you shall learn how to move uh, data from one activity to another using uh, object-oriented programming right I'll see you in the next tutorial guys thanks